What's going on everybody? JJ Wilson is here. And this will be episode 24 of the JJ Starwins Corner. Welcome all, welcome all. So for this topic, I wanted to touch on a specific type of media company. Uh, for those that are probably familiar with it, you've seen the title of the video, uh, Crunchyroll. And so instead of doing a thorough review for the latest anime that came out on Toonami, that's, um, how should I put this? It was made by Crunchyroll, or at least, it was leased by Crunchyroll, um, called Fina Pirate Princess, right? So, instead of just deciding, oh, I'm going to do a whole thorough review about it, because, again, like many of its other shows within Crunchyroll, Fina Pirate Princess ended up being a flop. It It started off good like it said it looked interesting i should put it that way i was pulling this anime by uh bill gaylord 58 so he, he told me about the anime and it was on toonami it's like yeah you might want to check this out it looks like it's going to be really good okay I'll, I'll check it out so i looked at the anime you know the animation of course is stellar i mean really good animation but then as the episodes progressed the story just got it just got like really murky and it felt like it was some plot holes involved too. And it got so confusing to the point that by the end of the last episode, I didn't really know what was going on. I just, it was a lot of confusion, really. It was more confusion by the end of the show than it was in the middle of the show. In the beginning, it was kind of, it was kind of clear what was going on in the beginning. But then like as it devolved, it just, it's like, what am I looking at here? You know? It's like the antagonist of that show was like a mad incel. It just he was just the dude was so black pilled, and I hate to use these terminologies, but for those that are into the whole pill talk, I'm I'm laying it out there for you guys because this is how bad it was. The dude was so black pilled that he was willing to kill anybody, even his own men, to get after Finna because she she was the daughter of the lover of his life. So the woman that he loved, she died in a fire or whatever. And so Fina was still alive and she was kind of like the key to Eden or whatever. In order to, I think she he was using her to get back at the mother, which eventually she he did find her. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Abel. Abel was able to find Fina's mother. And I forget her name, so forgive me for that. So by the end of the show or whatever. So that's a little spoiler alert. So... The, the mad black pill incel guy got what he wanted, even though it cost him his life. So, <laughs> but that's besides the point. I mean, if you want to see what else happens, you just got to watch the anime. I mean, if you can take it, that that's if you can take it, because you are going to get confused. You just you just will. So I covered Fina briefly in this explanation as to why Crunchyroll is so bad <laughs> with these animes that they sponsor. And so we got a couple other ones I wrote down. I didn't watch this one, Tower of God. You know, um, my old co-host on the Exter Eternal Ventures podcast, we talked about the Tower of God quite a bit. And it seems like out of all the Crunchyroll sponsored animes, like this was one of the better ones, sort of. It wasn't as bad from what I was told. Uh, next up is Noblest. This was another one that was, it had okay reviews. You know, I don't think a lot of people were talking real big about it, but from... What I heard from other people, it, it wasn't too bad. Now, I'm going to get to the ones that are really, really bad. Okay? Uh, give me a moment. <sighs> Excuse me. All right. The first one, just like Fina, this anime, The God of High School, and this is actually a, a Korean anime. It's not from Japan. This is from South Korea. The God of High School. This anime turned out to be in a similar manner to Fina. Although I kind of knew what was going on, like throughout the show, it just like part of the problem was the people that actually read the the manhwa, the comic, like they said, oh, uh, too much was happening in this in the anime season, like too much was going on, and they actually changed the story up. They said uh, the main protagonist in that story wasn't supposed to win the actual uh, preliminary tournament; it was supposed to be the girl, but they changed it up to this guy. So that's a major problem right there. So the anime wasn't following up to the story of the manga or the manhwa. 
So that's that's problematic right there. Okay, and then by the end of the show, it, it was like so much going on. You had all these different enemies that we've never seen before. They just kind of jam-packed them in this one episode. And next thing you know, the season ends in a cliffhanger. And it's almost like these high schools were fighting for the faith of the whole country, let alone the city of uh, Seoul. So it was like, what is going on? I, I didn't understand, right? So... That that's, that was a couple of problems with the guy to high school, even though it started off very interesting, right? And the next one is, yeah, let me go in and briefly talk about this because I didn't even watch this because it looks so bad. High Guardian Spice. All I want you to do is type in High Guardian Spice. Go to Google, look at the pictures, and that's all you need to know about this show. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. That's all you need to know about the show High Guardian Spice. And you can see why I didn't bother with this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, the next one, X-Arm. I didn't watch this one either. And we touched on this on the podcast a couple months ago about X-Arm. This show had one of the lowest reviews on my anime list. I think the score was like 2.7, maybe lower than that. On a, on a scale of 1 to 10, the score was like 2.7. That's how awful the show was. Real bad. Real, real bad. Okay? So you got that problem. The animation was terrible. It was basically the total opposite of Fina. The animation was so rigid, so uh, uncrisp, like so rugged. It, it. And then, you know, the fighting was bad too. Like the action scenes, was, it, it, it needed, it looked to me, it looked like a high school project. It looked like some high schoolers did it off a, off a cheap 3D rendering animation application or something. Like it looked that bad. <laughs> it looked like something like some high schoolers could have made and they probably would have did a better job than what these producers did, right? So that that's X arm. You can Google that, YouTube it, and you see what I mean about how bad and how awful that show looked in graphics. And then the last one I'm gonna talk about GBI. Now I did a review about this. I may link it in this video. I did a thorough review about GBI and how terrible it was, okay? I mean, there really, there really isn't a whole lot of positive to go around GBIT. I mean, it start it to me. It looked like it took some plots from other other video games and other animes out there that talks about a post apocalyptic, a post apocalyptic society. There you go. <laughs> that was a tongue twister for me. So it talks about a world that was shattered. You know, there's a nasty disease going around. I kind of joked how this was like coronavirus. <laughs> this sounds like coronavirus, but a lot worse because it turns humans into these nasty looking monsters. And they're starting to roam around the earth and they have to hide in the darkness. But when the sun comes out, the sun is strong enough to kill them, but they have to survive in the darkness in order to live. So that's basically how the humans were able to kind of like survive. You know, they did what they had to do to survive the night by working in the day, kind of. So... I have a more thorough review about GBI if you want to check it out. I did it last year, I believe. It was about a year ago I did this. And we already talked about how this 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 show was probably the worst show to come out in 2020. It was that bad, okay? I think the review for GBI was like at 3.3 or some shit. Like 3.3. It was that awful. <laughs> okay, so yeah, check out my review for GBI. I, I'll try to post it in the description box, so... So here's my question for you guys about these Crunchyroll animes. Because there's another one coming up. The next one I think is related to Blade Runner. And that's a popular movie series from back in the day. And that's the next anime that Crunchyroll is sponsoring. Now, it, it, it's got me thinking. like how, how bad do you think these next couple of animes are going to be for Crunchyroll coming up? Like, can it get any worse than GBI? Can it get any worse than High Guardian Spice? Can it get any worse than X Arm? Like, why is it that Crunchyroll keeps putting out such bad and choppy, and just bad sh written shows? Like, the the story writing is just not that good. It seems like 
the producers or the creators behind these animes, they try to jam pack so much information in 12 episodes that it just leaves the audience scratching their heads pretty much. So I know that's a lot of questions. So first question number one, let's revise this. Question number one, how how bad can these shows keep going under Crunchyroll? How bad are these anime shows going to keep going? Number two, why do you think Crunchyroll keeps sponsoring these shows that have such bad storytelling and bad animation graphics? Depend on the anime. So that's question number two. So those are two questions right there. How many more bad animes is this company going to put out? And why do they keep sponsoring animes that have such choppy graphics, bad writing, all across the board bad, okay? <laughs> I mean, it may have to do with budgeting. It may have to do with uh, not really caring about what the real readers have to say, the manga readers. So it's a lot going on, basically. All right, so I kind of dragged this episode quite a bit. But yeah, those are my main two questions, okay? Without repeating myself for a third time. All right, so you guys take care. Um, I'll try to come up with something for episode 25, but that's kind of what I was thinking about this past week. That's why I never made a thorough review of Fina Pirate Princess because the show just got confusing for me. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care.